Hello. Oh, yeah. Canvas over there. This is my prophetic word to you people who believe in God, believe in Jesus, to you church people. This is my prophetic word. This is it. Apart from using it as a prophetic word, which I won't at the moment because it hasn't got any strings, hasn't got any bits, very nice guitar. What I had to do, because somebody sprayed it and lacquered it, and it was pathetic. I can't say it was me, but it was me. So I felt to take it off and start again. Now, that was quite a number of days ago, 10 days, two weeks maybe. And uh, the details are that I had to use this. This is a blade. Now, you wouldn't usually take a blade. Shall I do it just as an example? <laughs> That's such a um, dreadful thing to do with, to a nice guitar. I scraped this lacquer off. It took forever. And then I rubbed this bit down to bare wood. But this back, which is absolutely beautiful when it's shiny, it had some stuff on it some lacquer, but I couldn't quite tell whether it was lacquer. I'd taken all this big bit off and there were some little dusty bits. I thought I was breaking through to the wood. Now this was, is a prophetic word. So I couldn't make up my mind whether that was old lacquer or new wood coming through because it was dull. Like this bit is still almost shiny. I've taken the edge off it. So I went with the blade again, and you could hardly see it. Look at that. Oh, such a nasty thing to do to a beautiful bit of wood. Blade. And at some point I thought, I, I don't know whether that bit needs to come off or not. Or does it or doesn't it? And I took the blade and I began to discover that it was lacquer. And I slowly took it off with a blade, loads of wool, wool and all that. that. Now, a lacquer is a type of veneer, for those who don't know. I don't know much, and I'm obviously not very good at spraying, but I'm hoping to get better. It's a kind of a veneer, okay, and that's a kind of a, a mask of the original beautiful wood protects it but in this case it's a veneer and you'd think I don't know whether I want to use that blade and some bits maybe don't really need to come off my life do they oh. and God says yes they do and uh, I won't go much more into that but you take it I take it that is for us to get where we are, and I tell you what, the Bible says that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the workings of the devil. And he did that, he completed it, and he finished it. And the Bible also says that the whole of creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons now, when there is a full manifestation of the sons of God, there will be some workings that we shall destroy. And for us to become sons of God manifest, and the Bible teaches that in Christ Jesus, all the fullness of the Godhead dwell bodily. Even one beautiful Isaiah prophecy says unto us a son is given and it goes on to declare who this son is the everlasting father the prince of peace the almighty god wonderful counselor how can the son be almighty god everlasting father he is <laughs> he is it's just a miracle that's all it is a miracle god is in the realm of miracles and for the sons of God to become manifest fully they need the knife the blade the cross but 
that's not all negative because you see it's not at all negative but people have thought that if I could explain doggedly about the need for the cross people would run to it and uh, change, get changed. But no, that wasn't Jesus' technique. Jesus would offer parables and wait for revelation to come to us individually. Very intimate, very beautiful, very loving, very awesome, very miraculous. So he would, and what he would do was do what the Apostle Paul did, only better probably. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 1 won't be able to get through much of this but I brethren when I came to you did not come with excellence of speech of man's wisdom where is it declared to you the testimony of God for I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified he says I didn't come with eloquence to you initially but he said however we do speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of the age, this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who, who, oh, I can't get for it, because they do not understand it, the rulers of this age do not understand the wisdom of God. If they had have done, they would have not have crucified the Lord of glory, who was the seed that brought forth billions of um, lives in Christ. So Paul said, I speak that wisdom. I don't doggedly reason out. If only you could grasp it and I could doc to you it. He said, I speak spiritual things. One beautiful translation says, matching spiritual realities with spiritual words. Now, that isn't always that easy to understand. As I was listening to a message by a young uh, preacher who would let loose, and do you know, really, I couldn't grasp what he was saying, but guess what? The Spirit was reviving the dreams, the passions of my initial salvation. He was speaking in spiritual language of spiritual realities through experience, but you couldn't put, you know, it wasn't that clever. It wasn't that clever at all. But he was dependent upon the prompting, the leading, the parables of the Holy Spirit within him. Out of his innermost being flowed rivers of living water. Now, God, I once said on my website, I said, if we are to see God's miraculous, then we must move in God's mysteries. Now, what I meant by that is more of the yieldedness to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's glory to come and have his way with foolish talking maybe, with parables, with things that we don't understand and therein is our stumbling block. We must understand it, God, or we just simply reject well, my goodness, how much you have rejected of the mysteries of the living God. So, I'm just enjoying myself. Prophetic word. The veneer must come off. And sometimes it will be a blade. One lovely proverb, it says, put a knife to your throat. If you have an appetite, it's a kind of a proverb. It's tucked in. It's kind of speaking to the flesh and it's speaking you know be serious it doesn't mean cut your head off it doesn't mean cut your hand off or pull your eye out literally it means discern where you're being led where you're being inspired where you're being imprisoned and come in to the 
mysteries of God by the Holy Spirit, which are plain to him, bless you as the sons of God shall be manifest, and they shall reveal the glory of the Lord throughout the earth as the waters cover the sea. Amen.